Welcome back to Louie's Kitchen. I'm your host, Christina. Today, we are making pancakes. Again, uh, this time, hopefully, they come out better. But, <laughs> who the fuck knows? So, essentially, all you have to do is add two cups of the batter. Add one cup of sugar. Add some cinnamon. Then, move that bowl over. Then... You want to try your absolute hardest. I fucked that one up. To get the egg whites, stir it as much as possible. It should be like a foamy consistency. Add some vanilla extract, then a cup of a milk of your choice, then stir that up. Then bring back the other bowl and, you know, stir up the dry ingredients. And... You know, just dump in the wet ingredients, stir it up until it's like this kind of consistency, you know. When you're all done with that, heat up your pan. You could tell the pan's hot enough when you dump some water on it and it looks like that. After that, all you have to do is just get some oil. Um, I'm using coconut oil and some butter. It doesn't really matter what kind. I use way too much for this, but hey, this one came out the best, honestly. But pour your batter onto the pan, and then when you see like little bubbles and shit, that's when you should flip the pancake. I'm not sure if you guys could tell, but damn, this house got smoky as fuck. But anyways, uh, so I made us some eggs. I had some applesauce too. Welcome back to Building Trip with Louie. Right here, we got like a mini bookshelf. I know last time I built a bigger one, my wife bought even more books. And yeah. So tomorrow I have an appointment with my optometrist. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to go, honestly. Hopefully, it should go pretty well. To be honest, the main reason I'm going to him is because, like, my eyes have been lower, you know? Like, my eyelids have been lower than usual so you know i'd rather just get a surgery while i'm on my mom's insurance and you know just live my life happy and free that's that's all that i want you know my mom would like to give me the best quality life and i would like to live the best quality life you know so that way i can help her and help my life, help everyone around me to live their best quality life. I just want to be able to make money online or on my phone or do something like that. So that way I can be free, you know, so that way I can actually focus on the things that matter in life. Which are my wife, my mom, my dad, and also my dreams. You know, like I have so many dreams. It's not even funny. I have so many fucking dreams that like, to be honest, sometimes, sometimes I just, I think to myself like, man, this is crazy. No one's going to believe that you did this this and that and then i also think to myself who gives a fuck it's my dreams you know like nobody can prevent me or stop me from going after them you know like it's better to go after your dreams than to just sit there and wallow in self-pity just because you either didn't feel like going after them or you just gave up on them. What's the point in that? To be honest, sometimes I just like to sit back and 
imagine my future self, you know, because I have so much potential. The only thing is, I just need money, you know, I need money to chase my dreams, and in order to get money, I have to either work or learn a skill and, you know, try to sell something, you know, um, which I'm in the process of learning that, you know, I'm in the process of learning new skills and all that. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm human, you know, sometimes I do doubt myself, but the one and only way that I'm aware of to get past a doubt, to get past those fears of failure and all that is to just get up and do it, you know, like, it's never a good time to just sit there and bullshit around, you know, like, to just sit there and not chase your dreams or not do what you want to truly do, you know, it's sad, it's sad to me, the fact that there are so many people in this world that leave it without reaching their full potential, that's frustrating, that's, that's, it's just sad, you know, I have to go get the tools because apparently this didn't bring them. So we're back. I got the screwdriver and inside of my wife's cute little, you know, toolkit, she has a cute little hammer. It's cute. Oh, so something I forgot to leave out of the video was that hole. Um... Funny story, so I punched that hole in the wall way back, maybe, um, probably like maybe June, maybe, no, gotta be before that, but anyway, so I punched that hole in the wall while I was asleep, so it was probably like, I don't know, like 3 a.m. or something. But it's late at night, and I just get up, and I start walking. The last thing I remember was lemonade. I don't know what that means. I don't know. But after that, my fist was through the wall, and I didn't know what the fuck to do. My wife woke up, and she was like, what the fuck? I don't know what happened, you know, like, it's just one of those weird dreams, I guess. And we are all done. This is my mom's fault. Like, but anyways, my hair got messed up from earlier, but right now it's currently almost 12 p.m. on Monday morning, Monday afternoon, and fuck, um, I've been up since like 2.30 a.m., I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm eating some chocolate cake that I got for my mom. Her birthday was last Friday, I think. And I said this was all my mom's fault. What I truly meant was waking up at 2.30 in the morning. That's it. That's it. You know, like, because I don't have my own car. So I had to drive myself in my wife's car to my mom's house. And then she drove herself to work. And then from there, here's where shit gets a little bit complicated. 
as much as I love this house and as many memories were created in this house, I didn't want to come here just because um, last year was a rough year because I didn't have a job, car, none of that. I didn't have any money, essentially. So that being said, I was trapped here in this house. And it just got really, really depressing for me because like, I feel like that was the lowest point of my life because me and my wife weren't together, you know? And I was just going through like a lot mentally because like I wanted to do so much, but I couldn't, you know, I was just trapped here. But hey, I'm grateful that I've had that low point of my life because now I recognize that that's my lowest point. And now I can go up. Now I can elevate from there. And I feel like I'm elevating slowly, you know. But anyways, you guys already know that my goal, my main purpose on this planet is to motivate and inspire you guys to get up and go after your dream car, your dream house, your dream lifestyle, you know. That's my goal, you know. That would make me feel so fucking fulfilled. And if that aligns with you, please drop a like. Comment something that you need advice on or comment something you want to see from me. Could be food, fitness, tips, whatever it is, you know. Just comment them down below. And also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Smack around that little bell notification. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out.